Hi, this is Travis. I'm going to show you how to uh, make a game over screen for this Space Invaders thing that we've been playing with. You can see that the score goes into negatives, can go deep into negatives, but there won't be any game over. We're going to fix that. First, we'll go into the stage and uh, look at the backdrops. I've already imported this nice starry background. It's in the library, uh, the Scratch library convert it to a vector, and I'm going to write some big yellow game over letters. Because these are a vector, I can grab them, transform them, stretch them. I think that looks nice. Uh, let's change the name. So it's now called Game Over. Now let's look at the scripts. When the green flag is clicked, uh, I want something to happen. Um, I've also got in mind um, backdrop switches to space. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when the green flag is clicked, we need to switch the backdrop to space. Uh, that's where the uh, shooting happens. I need to show my high score. I need to hide my high score later. Uh, now this, oh yes, wait a minute, we need one of these as well. Switch backdrop to game over. Okay, so right here is where the script will go that will uh, cause the game to end when your score is too low. Your points, rather. Oops, facing the wrong way. That is less than when points are less than zero. I'm going to hide the variable points, switch to the game over screen. This will kind of work. Let's give it a shot. Oh no, oh no. There we go, game over. But you can see that really everything is still functioning. What I'd like is to have a kill switch for all my sprites. And with the Space Invader, because the Space Invader creates clones, the clones won't be affected by a normal kill switch. So I'm going to build another one of those wait until statements, except this wait until statement is going to depend on the backdrop name. So basically, when the backdrop name is not equal to space, Space is the backdrop where uh, your starfighter does all his shooting. Then um, when it's not equal to space, then what's down here will execute. And what are we going to put there? First, we will delete this clone. And then we, well, first we're going to stop other scripts in this sprite and then delete the clone for good measure. Okay, so that is a kill switch that will work on um, the invader. I will copy it to my laser, and also I'm going to need a version of this for my starfighter, although my starfighter is not really a clone. So when backdrop switches to space, I will wait until backdrop is no longer space, and I will stop other scripts in the sprite. And um, instead of deleting it to hide it, I'll have to explicitly hide it. But that means that I need a show as well at the beginning of the green flag script. Okay, so this is not everything that I want to do, but it should be pretty close. Let's see if it works. Oh no, there we go. Um, so I think what would be cool is for you to be able to click on the game over uh, to... Oh, this script is still running. Stop other scripts in Sprite. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? In order to stop this, um, I'm going to need... Because it actually exists and kind of... Uh, as a clone and as a regular sprite. So I'm going to need 
something that's pretty much exactly like the script that I gave the uh, I gave the regular that I gave the starfighter um, stop other scripts and sprite okay that should work now There we go, game over. And if I look, if I click through, oh, okay, this script is still going, so I will just uh, copy that. Okay, I just turned off all the scripts. You know, there's actually a different way to do this, which is to uh, replace the forever loops. So I could go into the forever loops and I could make these repeat until this and if I just replace all my forever loops um, and I don't need to replace that one because that's one of the clone scripts um, let's well anyway so I could I could take this and I could drag it into the starfighter and replace all the forever loops but uh, you get the idea um, okay, so now I've got a pretty good game over screen. I can activate the, the game over screen like so. All my scripts are turned off, but I want a way, an easy way, to start the game again. So, back into the, uh, the stage, and I'm going to use this one when the stage clicked. And I'm only going to make it activate if the name of the stay, the name of the backdrop is equal to game over. Then I pretty much just have to copy these, drop them there, and um, it won't actually work because um, there's there's a bunch of green other green flag scripts which are in the starfighter uh, well in, in the, the regular sprites but that's pretty easy I just need to um, take some of these and replace the green flag scripts okay ta-da oops ta-da so I do that to the starfighter let me do that laser and I need to do that to the invader yeah okay let's give it a shot and uh, the way that I did this uh, would actually be really useful if you uh, if you wanted to make a splash screen uh, because when I use the uh, oh well here this this doesn't have a special kill switch but when I use this special kill switch I showed you this uh, repeat until kill switch Uh, basically, uh, this will allow you to handle, you know, dozens of backdrops, so that uh, you know you might have a backdrop called first, second, third, which play before the game even starts, just you know to impress the user with your fabulous name or high scores, whatever. Click yes, it works. And anyway, so if you have some screens that you want to show before the game even begins, uh, this special kill is really useful because uh, it means that this is already set up so that the uh, sprite will disappear for any screen except space. Uh, okay, I hope this was useful to you. I hope you learned something. And uh, please check out my blog 
I'll be back with more videos someday soon.